56 games per team. They realigned the divisions. Got 116 straight nights of hockey consecutive. No days off, Gump. It's go time, baby. It's go time. The division realignment, let's, go, let's run through it real quick. Uh, we get the north, the west, the central, and east. We thought, but no, 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 no. Because of all the lost revenue, because there are no, be, uh, no fans being allowed inside the buildings, we actually have the Scotia NHL North Division, the Honda NHL West Division, the Discover NHL Central Division, and the Mass Mutual NHL East Division. Scotia's a good bank, my friends. That's what I hear. That's a big Canadian bank, huh? Absolutely. Good for you guys. Uh, so they're also going to be throwing some, hel- uh, I think, extra ads on the ice and on the boards, and then helmets. Big change this season. You're getting helmet decals with ads. I know the Penguins are rocking the PPG ones. They are massive and obscene. But if it's help keeping the lights on, it's paying the bills. Got to do what we got to do. It's like you're up now. Yeah, they, they've said, Gary Bettman spoke the other day, and he said, well, you know, we're not quite ready to jump on the sweaters and the uniforms and the jerseys yet. But I, I think it's only a matter of time before that comes down the road because this is just a slippery slope. Once you crack the door open for that money, it's going to come pouring in. They're gonna they're gonna realize what they have on their hands. They're gonna need all the money they can get. They said they're they're expected to lose up to a billion dollars in Who revenues cares? this season. Oh, there's Pat. <laughs> Pat, thanks for stopping by. Good to have you. I'll tell you. I don't think it's on. I don't think your mic's on. I'll tell you. There we go. There's Jay. And a boy, Jay. Appreciate you, brother. Gary Bettman's talking about losing billions of dollars. I have an easy answer. What is that? Just like you did last year, kick the Red Wings out of the league. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Hockey time is the only time with hockey involved. Shout out to the Red Wings, kind of getting re- uh, relegated last season. Now they're getting in there. I have no idea. They are going to lose a lot of money, so look for some funny shit to pop off. You know what I mean? Like games getting moved, maybe rescheduled down the road. Oh, yeah. Maybe not rescheduled. Maybe like, hey, let's move it. Just like how the MLB kind of did. Let's get to the playoffs again. The NBA has been wild. There's been a lot of COVID outbreak there. I don't know if the NHL boys will do anything uh, like well, that. Dallas Stars. So Gumpy's half team, their the stars. team is wiped out already. Yeah, so look for that game to be canceled, not postponed or anything like that to save money, you know? They've already moved – or postponed, I think, at least three of the Stars games start to start because 17 of the 27 guys on the team have tested positive. So they're, they're Don't you think the other boys should just grab it while they can? I mean, honestly, I think that's what the Stars are thinking. Let's all get it now, and then we'll be good for the stretch run and the Go playoffs down the road. Go on another cup run. Get and, back to the Stanley Cup final, boys. And hopefully everybody survives. Obviously. Hopefully everybody survives, and then we can just run wild all season. If we want to go eat whenever we're in a city, let's go fucking eat. We already got it, Cal. We're an immunicorn now. So they did. That, that was part of the schedule change. They, they realignment the division so that these teams wouldn't have to travel as much. So they moved like Boston over to the east. Oh, no. You got the Central now has uh, – Detroit and Florida, Nashville, Tampa Bay, Chicago, Carolina. They're trying to keep them uh, as close as they can to each other so they limit travel. The and North then, the North is looking very good for the Maple Leafs, though. Of course, the All-Canadian Division of the North. Yeah. And it's not the North, Gumpy, excuse you. It's the Scotia, oh, Scotia. North. Who? Scotia. It's a big Canadian bank. The big green corporate fat cats up there. Big sponsor. Saving the NHL. Gary Bettman. Well, they're going to need more than that. <laughs> they're going to need an American bank to hop on board, too, pal. Yeah, they got Honda. Discover, or they got Discover and uh, Mass Mutual, so they just went straight for the big money. I, what do you think is going to happen? The NFL player or the NHL players are going to get screwed later on? Yeah, big time. And the, the players probably know that, right? Yeah, they know the gouge is coming. As will the fans. The fans will have to make up for the lost revenue with increased ticket prices and all that shit. Oh, Vegas. those beers are going to be so much money, dude. The ticket prices in Vancouver and Toronto were already probably two hundred bucks a ticket a game. And then you're looking at the TV rights deal coming up here at the end of this season. So they're negotiating. There's a lot of talk that ESPN's getting back into the mix. They're does, already does doing, that matter? Yeah, it matters big time because that's uh, the entire revenue for the league. They it, it, based on TV contracts and gate revenue. You know, they're not, they're not like the NFL. They're not like the NBA. They're not like the MLB. They need that gate revenue and they need these TV. I back. cannot believe that it's on NBC Sports tonight. The kickoff. That's all. Where there's nowhere else for it to be. That's the most seen coverage they get. But that's what I'm saying. I, like, I guess the move to ESPN would be good because more people just happen to have it on the back and it's a part of the topic of conversation. Yeah, you just get it shoved down your throat whether you want to see it or not. You and just, it's on the highlights and exactly. Center and everything like that. 
So it, it's the age-old question, is it better to be third or fourth fiddle on ESPN, maybe fifth or sixth even now at this point, or Across. first billing or second billing on NBC Sports because you're fighting uh, motorsports, racing, rubbing and racing. And on NBC, you're, you're fighting uh, like politics and stuff too. Yeah. Right? Because that's where a lot of their money and invested into, like actual politics. Yeah, like NBC tonight. No way, hockey's on. No, you got no shot. The only time uh, NHL will be on NBC is if the later rounds of the playoffs, and then uh, occasionally a Sunday matinee game, and then when they do like the Winter Classic or outdoor games. Those are the only times.